Hey everybody, how are you doing? I hope everybody is having a good day. Um, I wanted to talk about a couple of things, you guys, that um, that the Lord has really had on um, on my heart for Lord put on my heart for a while and. Um, now, and you guys, this isn't <clears throat> to uh, provoke um, to or cause um, condemnation or guilt. These are messages of hope, right? The Son of Man comes to set, to, to give life, to set people free, not to hold people in bondage. And that is the message of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is everything that he symbolizes, that he, everything that he, is, not just symbolizes, everything that he is, is um, freedom, deliverance, love, everything that um, humans really desire and want deep down inside of them. But most of the time, most people aren't willing to give up their, um, their, own personal fleshly desires and their pride and all these evil things hinder the way of that. Um, but with that being said, <clears throat> if um, this message in the beginning is going to be, it's going to be uh, to parents and then to children, and then we're going to go into um, Halloween coming up in about six days, six or seven days. And, um, you parents, I just want to um, to uh, let you know something that um, when you bring a child into the world, you are actually, um, especially if uh, you um, hold the title or consider yourself Christian or a good parent, you are actually commanded to, um, we are actually commanded to bring that child up. Um, in the ways of the Lord and to um, to build up that your children um, in love and build them up to be uh, people who can contribute to give God glory and to follow the Lord and can help the world um, become uh, a peaceful a peaceful place, a loving place, um, a, a good place to live. And when you do not do that, um, if you haven't done that in the past, um, it wouldn't, I wouldn't feel right. And I, I don't feel right um, not bringing this up that you, you are going to get judged on that during, in the tribulation coming up soon. But there is hope because you can rectify these things now, right? You can actually, um, you can actually, uh, make it to where that you are not going to pay for the consequences of those things. If you repent, recognize what you did wrong and repent and, and, and um, rectify these sins of your past and these shortcomings. And in Ephesians chapter six, it says, and you fathers provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and the ad." admonition of the Lord okay and um, so if 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 we do not do that as parents you guys there is a penalty and a consequence for these things and and um, what if we do not do this or if we do not repent and turn away from our lack of doing this there is going to be a very high price to pay um, uh, in the soon coming judgment of the world, right? Um, it says in Colossians 3.21, Fathers, provoke not your children to anger, lest they be discouraged. And you guys, I've seen a lot of this um, provoking and um, just not building your children up in the right way to follow the Lord, right? You, When you have, when you bring a child into this world, you basically have an, another human being that you get to mold and form and and release and and bring them into the world after they turn of age after they become an adult and that is a copy and an image 
of what your beliefs were were and are and how you raised that child up and you will definitely uh, i i i can assure you be held responsible um for the outcome of of them because uh, children really don't deviate if you do everything that the lord tells you to um children do not deviate from that um path it's very 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 rare um when those things happen it's that you didn't do what you're supposed to or or you just got fed up and tired or you abandon um uh your your responsibilities because you got tired or or you um whatever the case may be right but um you can repent and turn away from those things now and um make peace and amends with this with the lord and tell him you're sorry and 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 um do what the lord um and do what the lord would uh you know if you talk to the lord and repent confess and repent these things and do what the lord tells you to in order to rectify these things before the judgment happens right um cuz like i said they um children are a copy and an image of who and what you are and um I, there's some interesting scriptures i wanted to show it says um train up proverbs 22 it says train up a child in the way he should go and when he is old he will not depart from it foolishness is bound in the heart of a child this is later on in verse 15 it says foolishness is bound in the heart of a child but the rod of correction shall uh, shall drive it far from him so you guys the even infants babies are born into the curses of their parents they are born into these things and um but through you being a good parent and doing what you're supposed to do you can um you can steer them in the right correct and show them how to be free which is through the teachings and the way of the Lord Jesus Christ right and so that's what you are called to do to help them um not have those things affect them and um uh children of parents um i just want to um say um to all of us who are also children is that um we are uh commanded to obey our parents okay and that's not optional and even if your parents didn't do um right and didn't do the right things or maybe you feel like this or this way or that um it does not mean that you are not that does not um mean that you should not honor your mother and father your mom and dad and um and respect them okay and so um it says that when you honor the lord says when you honor thy father and mother which is the first commandment with promise that it will be well with you and thou mayest live long on the earth so that's a promise you guys this is the word of god that he tells us will happen if we listen and follow these things all these things that the lord is commanding us and telling us in the scriptures you guys is is a way to live our life so that we can um have life everlasting right so that we can have a good long healthy peaceful loving um life and to cultivate an environment where our children can do the same and um so if you haven't done these things right now this is uh, like i said earlier you guys this is not to um produce shame and guilt and condemnation on people and if um you know there's there's a lot of other people i know on youtube and and elsewhere on social media that that's what they do that that's that's all they like to do they just like to impose um their uh their authority on other people and they like people to feel shameful and full of condemnation that's not what this message is doing this is to recognize error so that you can look at it recognize it know that it's wrong and then um 
with the help of the Lord Jesus Christ and through your decisions, through, through the free will that, has give, that is given to you by the Lord God Almighty, you can rectify these things and correct them before judgment happens so that you are not going to be held liable for these things because whether you're the parent that didn't do what they're supposed to or the child or you've been the child that didn't do what he's supposed to you can rectify and correct these things now and that's the message of hope that's the message you guys and and we need to really think about these things and do them leviticus 20 says and you shall keep my statues and do them i am the lord which sanctify you for, and this is for children. For everyone that curseth his father or his mother shall be, sh be surely put to death. And he hath cursed his father and his mother. His blood shall be upon him. Right? So, um, you guys, we have a mediator. Um, well, those who are in Christ. Or you can confess and repent of these things and fix them now so that you do not... Um, so that the judgment uh, um, in the end times and the tribulation does not, um, that, that you do not have to reap what you have sown in this life. And the only way to do that is repent and turn away from your sins, turn to the Lord Jesus Christ, and he will guide you and instruct you on what to do. But everything that he wants us to do is laid out in the scriptures. Um, so I wanted to, that's very important, you guys, and the Lord has had that on my heart for a while. Um, you guys, it doesn't matter uh, whether you're the parent or the child, um, you know, and, and how you feel about how your parents raised you or vice versa, it doesn't matter. You guys, we are to be um, in Colossians, it says, put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. It doesn't matter. It doesn't say, it doesn't um, try, it doesn't justify the, the wrong that happened to you. All the Lord commands you to do is to forgive to forgive as Christ forgave you. See, this is, that would be part of your testimony if you decide to do that, of you being Christ-like, is that you forgive the wrong that was done to you just as Christ forgave you, right? With all of the error and in, in when you were living as a sinner, um, or maybe you still are living as a sinner. So um, a love covers a multitude of sins, okay? And, in John 1 16 it says um, it says from his fullness right it was talking about Jesus Christ we have received grace upon grace which that that um, that doesn't mean the way that in our English language we think of it meaning like laminated layers of grace like in a, it, um, it, it means that grace um, in exchange for grace meaning if you show grace to others um, then he will forgive you, right? Just like the Our Father says, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. If you are not forgiving those that sin against you, then you're not going to be forgiven, you guys. You're going to reap what you have sown in this world. Um, so now I'm going to go into um, Halloween, you guys. There, this is going to be a very, very wicked, wicked Halloween and um, you guys, I want to encourage you and, and let you know the Lord does not want you or any of your loved ones or anybody to celebrate Halloween as a pagan, wicked holiday. It doesn't matter what you think about it. It matters what it actually is and what it stands up or, or what it represents. Okay. Um, if you don't believe me or agree with me, pray and ask the Lord about it and ask him to confirm it with you. Right. Um, but there is going to be this thing on Halloween. It's called Dark Matter Hunters at CERN. And I will tell you this, you guys, it is no coincidence that this is going to be on October 30th, 2020, which is the day before Halloween, which where it's happening in Switzerland, I think is going to be actually on Halloween. 
And you guys, this is not by accident that these days uh, that it is happening on one of the one of the most wicked days of the um, uh, of the year. Um, what they're doing, what the spirits of these people who are setting these things up, what they're doing is they are trying, they're, they're getting humanity, the people of the world to get online and glorify this uh, dark matter hunters, which basically what that is, what they're looking for, you guys, is they're trying to open up portals and gateways from the spiritual realm and, and into the physical realm to let evil spirit dark matter dark matter you guys is exactly as it sounds it's dark matter it's evil spirits and that's what they're doing is they're trying to bring these evil spirits into our physical realm and um in the book of isaiah it talks about this and we'll, we'll show that in a minute but the, what they're what the spirits in these people are getting you to do is to get online and to glorify these things so that because when humanity um, accepts something and gives it glory, you guys, it empowers that thing, right? This is why we need to um, serve the Lord with all of our heart, mind, and strength, not to be thinking about money or the things of this world or or whatever your fleshly desire is, because what you're doing is you're indirectly uh, glorifying uh, evil and sin, and thus giving indirectly giving glory to the enemy. And we don't want to do that, right? Um, so um, this is what is happening on Halloween, you guys, and. I want to tell you something too. It's no coincidence. I did this video about the 59 mummies and the mysterious um, that they have just unearthed. And actually now it's over 80. They've been finding more and more. Um, it's no coincidence that this is happening this month too, guys. It's all about um, the end times and these evil spirits. What all of this stuff is saying, you guys, what is happening is all of these and this is all in the bible you guys this is all prophecy i'm going to show you here in a minute um, but what this is to do is to raise up evil spirits and to allow evil spirits to come into the physical to manifest in people to to have evil spirits be able to manifest somehow in the physical realm in the end times these evil spirits are going to go into people leaders of the world and they are going to get very wicked very quickly, you guys. And that's the whole point. And, and, and um, they're allowed to do this right now, you guys. I'm bringing, uh, um, I'm bringing this to people's awareness so that people could see it and um, realize what's going on and, and prepare and seek. And, and this isn't to cause fear, you guys, because perfect. if you are truly in Christ, you will be so confident you death like death will not matter you guys because to die would be to die is to gain for a child of god right and to live is to live for christ and perfect love casteth out all fear right so this is all part this is all bible scripture everything that's going on you guys and um we're gonna look at the book of isaiah And on chapter 13, it says, um, lift up a standard on the mountain of the plant. Now, you guys, I, I have to let you know this. Um, so people, if you were to ask a lot of people, especially biblical scholars um, about these scriptures, they're going to tell you, oh, yeah, the book of Isaiah was written for, um, you know, a long time ago for people to uh you know for these invasion that happened in israel back then and they're right with a lot of the scriptures they'll say that they've already happened but here's the thing you guys here's a, a, a fact and a truth okay is that these scriptures they don't just happen one time and then they're done with the bible the holy word of god is a living breathing document okay and moreover when we look at uh, like chapter 13 in Isaiah, and this is the Greek Septuagint version, is this has not been fulfilled ever. 
okay? And um, the reason I know that is when you read this whole chapter and, and what it's talking about and how it's talking about the day of the Lord, the day of the Lord has not happened. And, and you can understand that. And if you don't um, believe me or, or um, to read the chapter yourself and ask the Lord to show you. But um, in Isaiah 13, it says, lift up a standard on the mountain of the plain. Exalt the voice to them. Beckon with the hand. Now listen to this. Open the gates, you rulers. Open the gates. You rulers. Now, what that's talking about, um, there's there's different meanings for this, but one of the ways is that um, a gate is a portal. You guys, like you have a you have gates inside of you. You have mind gates, ear gates, nose gates, touch gates, and this this is how things enter into your body is through your gates, enter into your spiritual man, right? Um, well, there's gates and portals all over the world that have been closed off by the by God's, by who God is. He's had these barriers in place that keep these evil things out of our physical realm, right? But this right here, you guys, is saying open, the, the, the word of God is saying that they're allowed to open the gates then. And that's what CERN is doing. What they're doing is they're trying to, um, whether they realize it or not, I know some some people in CERN who are um, high up in CERN must know, but um, a lot of people who work there think that that, that they're just uh, physically and scientifically involved in all that lingo and, and look at it from that way. But what it's doing in the spiritual realm is it's piercing, it's attempting to pierce the spiritual realm to let evil spirits, which is dark matter, right? Where is it at? Which is going to let dark matter into our physical realm and that's not good you guys that that's very bad that means evil spirits um would would come into our physical realm and this is what it talks about in the book of revelation in many other parts of the bible too you guys this isn't just one part this is something what we see happening with coronavirus and all this stuff going on around us is bible prophecy and if that is happening this is going to happen too. The word of God will be fulfilled and we need to get prepared for this, you guys. And the only way to be prepared for this is not by guns or prepping or food or what have you. It's to spiritually be prepared and sealed with the Holy Spirit. And in order to do that, you need to listen and obey and accept Jesus Christ and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And in order to do that, you must live holy and do the things that Jesus says. But they're going to, when this happens, they're allowed to open up these portals, uh, they will actually have the knowledge. They will actually succeed in what they're undertaking. And um, it says, you rulers, open the gates, you rulers. Those are the people who are in charge of the world, who have power and authority in this world, who call the shots. These are people who we call the elites. And it says, I give command and I bring them. Giants are coming to fulfill my wrath. Now, you guys, there's a scripture that says, men's hearts will fail them for fear of looking upon the things that are coming up on the earth, right? I'm going to read it to you. Sorry, I didn't have this. Um, men's hearts shall fail them. Okay, so it's Luke 21. And it says, and men's hearts shall fail them for fear, for looking after those things which shall come on the world, for the powers of heaven will be shaken. Now, what it's talking about, you guys, is there's another, a spiritual realm, right? And, and they are going to enter, pierce through the physical realm. And people are going to see these things with their own eyes. This is all part of God's plan. Um, to allow these things to happen for several different reasons. And one of the reasons is, is because um, the people who call themselves Christian, Christians who do not do everything that the Lord tells them to do and, and who do not live um, the way that the Lord tells them to, is they are going to start living very holy after they see this, okay? And 
That's just one of the reasons. And it says, I give them command and I bring them. Giants are coming to fulfill my wrath, rejoicing at the same time as insulting. Okay. Um, the Lord of hosts has given command to a warlike nation to come from a land far off from the utmost foundation of heaven. See, this isn't talking about a, um, the earth. This is talking about a different realm you guys and the lord is going to allow them to come in and that's why men's hearts are going to fail them is because they're seeing something that they did not think was even um real uh so these are the types of scriptures you guys um we can also look at these scriptures um when you look at egypt um like we'll go to, yeah, let's go to uh, Isaiah 19, what it's talking about with these, all of this stuff, you guys, um, CERN and what's going on, um, trying to manifest this dark matter, which they will succeed, the Bible says, and these ancient, um, these sarcophagi that they are unearthing, that they are starting to open this month is all fulfilling Bible prophecy. And it's, and it's allowing evil to manifest in our realm. And these spirits are going to be made manifest. And they will probably enter into people, human beings, and, and cause them to grow very, very wicked. Um, and this, it talks about um, the things in Egypt that they're finding in Egypt. Um, it says, Behold, the Lord sits on a swift cloud and shall come to Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the hearts and their hearts shall faint within them, and the Egyptians shall be stirred up against the Egyptians. Men shall fight brother, bro, brother, man against his neighbor, and the spirit of the Egyptians will be troubled with it in them, and I will frustrate their counsels. And look at this, you guys, and they shall inquire of their gods lowercase g and their images and them that speak out of the earth that's where these things were you guys when it when it when it, you're talking about the god anubis and ra and horus and all of these things um isis these are evil spirits that are down in hell that are down what we call hell or sheol and they're resurrecting these evil spirits by bringing these things by bringing these sarcophagi back up and opening these things is a physical manifestation of what is happening in the spiritual and do not watch them open these things you guys do not watch them do that that's not um just please don't do that it's that's not good that can make evil enter into you that can make wickedness enter into you um but these um this is what this is all about, you guys. These old uh, spirits, these old spirits from back in the Egyptian times um, are play a huge role in the end times. And that's why they're unearthing all this stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, they're going to consult just as the scriptures say. If you type in the word Egypt in an online bible um website and you look in the book of isaiah where it talks about egypt egypt it's like 40 different times and a lot of the times it's talking about what is associated with them finding these eight 59 it says 59 sarcophagi but really it's over 80 now is they're resurrecting these spirits and there's going to be problems coming to in the land of egypt and what they're going to do is because a lot of them have the same spirits as their forefathers who lived there they're going to consult these evil spirits meaning they're going to go to these old ancient dead kings priests priestesses queens and they're going to talk to them that's a familiar that's a, a consulting familiar spirits consulting the dead and they're going to do rituals and they are going to summon um, by opening these things and doing what they're doing, they're summoning these evil spirits from out in Sheol to bring them up into the world. And they're going to do work iniquity and evil throughout the world. And the Lord is going to um, 
he's going to allow these things. So um, anyway, you guys, that's what's happening this month. Um, please do not celebrate Halloween. Um, and please do not watch this thing, uh, uh, this live marathon on dark matter hunters. What they're doing is they're bringing, they are um, attempting to bring in evil to manifest in the physical in which soon they will succeed in this because it is written because they are allowed to. But what they're trying to do is get you to glorify this by watching it and saying, oh, that's cool and talking about it and thinking about it. You being made in God's image and likeness empowers that when you do that. It's the same thing with why they wanted people to watch these uh, mummies being opened on social media. Um, whether they know that they're doing it or not, the people who are posting this stuff and, and having the ideas to do this stuff, I don't know. Only God knows. But the spirit that's in these people definitely knows why they are doing this. And this is all Bible prophecy um, in the end times. So anyway, I love you guys so much. And uh, peace be with you all in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, King, Savior, Messiah, and Redeemer.